I figured it would be very fun to race somebody with the Supra before installing the big turbo kit and sending out the ECU to get unlocked. I just want to see how capable it is with no tune because I've been driving this car for the past few weeks and it's very, very fast. So the only way to really test that out is to find a competitor. And today's competitor is going to be Ali's 328 sleeper wagon. We'll come back to this car in a little bit first. I'll show you guys what I have going on on the Supra and then we'll have Ali walk us around the E91 and tell us a little bit about his setup. This is my 2021 BMW Supra. I mean, Toyota Supra A90. And we've done some mods to it to prepare for big power. So uh, let's go over that right now. Got some very lightweight, fully forged Titan 7 wheels and this Tecna bronze color that I think looks very good with the white exterior. 305 continental tires in the back so very wide and should be good enough to put down some power at least for now we have an entire exhaust system from fi so that includes the downpipes and the cat back um, while the car is not tuned to really take advantage of the downpipes um, we still saw some pretty good gains at the dyno about 15 horsepower bump versus just the stock exhaust system so i mean that might give us a little bit of an edge today and it's also a valve system that's controlled by the factory sport button so if you really want it to be quiet at times you can do that and if you want it to sound very aggressive you can open up the valves and it sounds pretty damn serious i'll show you guys how it sounds after i go over everything else all right let me show you guys what we have under the hood here it's pretty much covered but we recently installed a whole suite of cooling stuff from CSF onto the B58. So we have uh, one of the newest products that CSF has, the intake manifold, which is very, very cool. I think a lot of you guys enjoyed the video of the install. If you guys want to see that, I'll leave a link to that video down in the video's description. We did upgrade uh, the charge cooler, both auxiliary radiators that sit right behind the bumper here. So you have one on that side, one on that side. Uh, we also upgraded behind the bumper, of course, there's a heat exchanger. We upgraded the heat exchanger and the transmission cooler. So we did, what is it? Five cooling upgrades, yeah. Both radiators, the heat exchanger, the transmission cooler and the charge cooler. They don't really add power per se, but they allow you to run big power in the car consistently while minimizing you know, the possibility of heat soaking with uh, hot intake temperatures very very good mod if you're looking to make big power which we are going to do with the with the supra yeah that's pretty much it for performance mods i think the only last thing i didn't mention was the lowering springs that we have in here coilover springs from mss so they essentially go over the factory strut and then they come with like these perches where you can adjust the height that way you can get the wheels to sit really good and you can get some performance out of it and that's pretty much it you got the wheels the springs the exhaust and all the cooling upgrades when i tell you guys this car is fast i'm not playing it just it feels very fast at least my butt dyno says so but i mean we actually took it to the dyno when we put on the fi exhaust and i think it made like 400 horsepower to the wheel but it's just the way that this car puts power down that is so efficient the the a speed transmission is very good too and we haven't tuned that yet neither it's just a very fast car i did a few draggy pulls as well zero to 60 60 to 130 and i was quite impressed so we'll see how uh it'll perform against the e91 which i'll show you guys exactly what he has on it right now all right so what do we got done to this 328 it's stock you sit on a throne of lies <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I see your nose growing. N54 swap, obviously. N54 rear end, N54 transmission or whatever, auto transmission out of a 335. Full rear end swap. It has full bolt-ons, AKA arm inlets, uh, VRSF outlets, VRSF charge pipe, VRSF big center cooler, high blow off valve. It does have a MHD stage two, V5. I don't know about the fuel pump. I think it's a stock fuel pump. Trans wise, it's also stock tune. Doesn't have a XHP or anything like that. So it does shift really shitty compared to that. But maybe, maybe we'll win. Turbos are, yeah, I forgot. 17 T's that are blown. <laughs> That's the only reason I chose to race them because I might have an advantage. He has blown Chinese turbos. I have blown turbo. That's smoke. They, they still work. They, they still work. They still work. It's still speedy. I mean, we just filmed the video on your channel and uh, it was pretty saucy. Yeah, it's pretty saucy, but I have to do a second gear. I can't do anything else. Yeah, we'll do 40. Well, that's fine. Can we do a uh, dig race too? I don't know about that, but sure. Yeah. My By the way, if you guys are not following this guy, Swap Depot. I'll link it in the description. This guy is pretty much the guy that builds all my cars for the most part. Yes. Has a bunch of turds. This one is the biggest turd I have right now because it smokes. But that will be fixed. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, full bolt-on, upgraded turbos, 
intercooler, whatever, and a stage two tune. So the car is 400 horsepower or something, maybe. You think so? Really? I think it could be 400. Your E90 made like 600 horsepower, this one's 200 horsepower less? Yeah, but Same E9, setup? E90 was on E40 plus. Okay, there's 93. Oh, that's one thing I forgot to mention. 93 octane, 93 octane. Yeah, so maybe if I lose, I'll put it on E40 and then <clears throat> we'll do a do-over. Or yes. if I lose, I just come back with something else. What do you got for the exhaust setup? Oh, the RSF, three and a half inch all the way street exhaust that's modified to fit. And E91, wagon. yeah. Well, it's modified to fit a 328. Yeah. But it fits, everything works. She buggies for a wagon. Absolutely. We'll see what the outcome is, because that thing is fast. It is very fast for a stock car. Well, I drive that tune. car and I drive this every day and that's like more responsive than this. It's saucy. In my opinion. Well, modern technology. Can we hear what it sounds like? Maybe. Let's go. So as always, we are heading to Mexico. There is one thing that I forgot to mention. I got a passenger with me because obviously I need to get that video content for you guys. Carlos, 335 Carlos. Sir. I'm gonna give it a rev since we're uh, under the bridge. It's only right that I do it. Oh yeah. That's so good. That sounds fire. That's so good. Shout out to Ali to, to do a rev. He's saying his car is acting up already. It's running pretty rough. So we're hoping that uh, Maybe one pull to clean up his uh, fueling system. He thinks he has a bad injector, we'll see. And 54 life right there. I'm telling you guys, this car pulls. It pulls very nicely. We are arriving at Mexico, ladies and gentlemen. But it's a lot of traffic in Mexico today, so uh, we'll see if it clears up. Oh, is that rain? Oh, oh, he oh, hell no. You lucked out. <laughs> the Mexican weatherman lied to me. He said it was going to be clear today. Hey, this is not that bad. I think we can still do the race. not that bad. You don't need to be able to see the race. You can barely see out the window. <laughs> we'll just do a six gear pull. That's it. It's clear, it's clear on this side. We might have a little bit of luck. Look at that, no more rain. I got plenty of grip, I'm good. Closer than I thought it would be. <laughs> Me too, bro. No, <laughs> yeah, that was a good ass race. <laughs> that was a lot closer than I thought it would be. I missed fire. Oh man, we were pretty much literally spot on, like dead on next to each other. And then it looks like I pulled away at the very end. He said he missed fire at that very point. So I mean, it could have been easily like a tie type of race. Very, very interesting. Uh, definitely got to do it again. Hopefully, he doesn't miss fire this time. Your side marker is clapped. <laughs> oh, <that one. laughs> it's from a, it's from a, getting a bump. again. Bro, how do you like the sound of the backfire when you shift gears? Oh, it sounds really it's good. It's like, brr, brr, brr. Oh my God. 
I, I, I over -repped. Let's try that again. <laughs> Did I get the jump on you or did your car misfire? Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Oh, yep, that doesn't sound right. I got a bad injector. Bad injector? Fuck this car. You misfired immediately, didn't you? I didn't brake boost that time. You brake boosted the first time? You asshole! Yep. I haven't brake boosted. You got more power. We make the same power. You got more power. I can tell. You got more power. Plus, I'm down a cylinder, so which one is, which <laughs> one is more important? We figured we'd change out the, the spark plugs and the codes, and that would fix it. He had a uh, thing misfire in cylinder three. Kind of made the car worse. So I think it is uh, an injector issue, and then we'll do a test once we get to the shop. Man, that sucks. This, this video could have been a lot better. But unfortunately, N54 things, that's what happens. every time. <laughs> That's so good. That felt good. And by the way, that's not with traction completely off because how launch control works in this car, you gotta have the, like the middle setting, so it's partially off. So it still kind of limits what it does so it can put power down. I tried to do it with traction fully off and the car literally stood there and did a burnout. So that's not how you do it. You gotta do it partially off. Put your foot on the brake all the way down. You floor it with the gas. You'll get this checker that says launch control activated. You let go of the brake, that's it. You're off to the to, to outer space pretty much because that is fast. <laughs> Thoughts? My car misfires. So I got a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry we couldn't get you guys a better video. It was a hit or miss after we uh, did some of the maintenance on the car. That being said, we'll get these cars to race again once we go uh, with whatever we had planned. Yeah, and I fixed my injector, I guess. Yeah, fix your injectors. Add the sauce. I'm adding the sauce. <clears throat> and then we'll, re we'll be right back, hopefully, with no misfires. Round two. Yeah. <laughs> I hope you guys still enjoyed the video. And if you did, make sure to hit the like button. It really does help with the channel. Make sure to subscribe so you guys don't miss out on the future content, both for the Supra and the rematch with the E91. And as always, thanks for watching. Till next time.